Well, hello there, JCFers, and anybody else that uh, wants to listen in on this. Um, thought I'd continue with that little devotional idea that I had. Um, sorry, the video is a little choppy. I don't know why it is. I remember a few months ago it wasn't choppy, and now it is, and I'm working on too many things. Uh, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, otherwise, I'd make it a priority and get it fixed. But in um, any case, um, last time I was covering the idea of choosing God's best, and you can look back on my videos and, and see what that looked like. And I try to keep, uh, keep these things uh, less than five minutes, so I'm going to jump right into what I'd like to do, which is cover the, uh, start covering the book of John, then move on to uh, the book of Acts, and then 1st and 2nd Corinthians. Um, so I'll be making a bunch, bunch of these. Uh, if um, uh, I've already read uh, um, John and Acts and First Corinthians with um, with Adrian, and so I'll be a little, uh, reading it with you if you want to follow along with me whenever I come out with these things every couple of weeks or so, as time permits. But uh, one of my um, it's one of my favorite books to start with because it. Um, uh, the book of John talks about uh, something that a lot of people don't catch right off. I mean, it's such a simple phrase. It's the first, uh, uh, first sentence in the book of John. It says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. And that was uh, in the NIV version, but in the Tagalog, I forgot what the word, uh, what that uh, uh, is called there. Um, but um, I've heard the heard people. I'm getting ready to make a point, and I've heard people um, uh, make the argument or or I relay the idea that uh, in Tagalog. The phrase "the word" is um, the exact same word that is used in other places, um, but I can't remember what that word is. But um, I want to let you know in English it's the same thing as well. The fact that it's called the word um, here in uh, John is the exact same phrase or word that's used in um, in English several places. Uh, however, that's not the case in uh, the Greek, and of course you're going to have uh, variations in the Old Testament being written in Hebrew. And I know this is getting kind of uh, uh, scripturally geeky, so forgive me. Uh, maybe one day it'll be useful. But um, it's important to know that uh, scripture and um, uh, what's called the Word are not the same thing. So every time you um, uh, see somebody lift up this Bible and say, um, the Word of God says, well, I want you to know that this, uh, this is Scripture. And um, if you read the, um, that first chapter of the book of John, you, you go down and you realize very quickly that when it says the Word of God, it's talking about Jesus. You know, it says in, in verse 2 there, He was with God in the beginning. And it goes down into, uh, it says verse 10, He was in the world, and though the world was made through Him, the world did not recognize Him. And uh, in verse 14 it says, The Word became flesh. And as you learn, as you read more and more scripture, you'll uh, catch on to um, uh, this in the Old Testament as well. Um, and, uh, you know, it um, um, uh, talks about what the Word of God is uh, again in Hebrews 4, uh, verses 12 and 13. It says, For the Word of God is living and active, sharper than any double edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It lays bare everything before the eyes to whom we must give account. A lot of people want to say that's scripture, but no, it's saying the word, which is uh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one that lays out everything, um, uh, dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. He's the one that does that. 
You know, if um, in um, th there's no place in the scripture that makes uh, that calls the scripture and the word in the same sentence as something that's synonymous. It just doesn't happen. You know, script now scripture is really, really important. I mean, I'm reading it with you um, here, and uh, you should always make it an important part of your life. Uh, but, uh, in Second Timothy three fifteen and seventeen, it says, "All Scripture is God breathed, and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work." Um, but in the um, uh, Old Testament, um, uh, later, if you read the Old Testament, you can find you will look up that phrase, "The Word." It'll say, "The Word of God came to Isaiah." It's like, you know, it's something that came to him. You know, even Jesus was was doing some stuff even back then. So, but, you know, that's a, enough. That's pretty deep um, <laughs> for a beginning. Uh, you know, that's the uh, that's enough for the uh, morning, afternoon. That's six minutes later. Take care. Love you guys. Bye.